RV Sports and Travel Show. We're gonna go around and show you some things that we think are cool, interesting, and fun. Today we wanted to just come out to the RV show and see what there is to offer. I mean, there's accessories, there's all kinds of things that we have no idea about. And so we're here to just gain knowledge, experience, and hopefully grab some things maybe that could help us along our journey. Some of the things we considered whenever we were purchasing our travel trailer was what size of trailer do we want? Do we need a small one, medium, large one? Uh, what floor plan would best work for our family? So we really enjoyed the toy hauler type trailer because it had a separate area for the kids. They could have their own space and be able to stay back there with a closed door and we could hang out in the common area and have our own bedroom, that space for ourselves. So we're gonna show you some toy haulers. We're gonna show you some medium sized, small. It, it, it all depends on what's best for your family. So come out to the RV show here in Colorado. Uh, we are excited to be here and we hope you enjoy. feature as in the bed comes out kind of like a hide a bed and then when you're done with the bed you can just lift it back up pull out the couch and you're ready to hang out in your RV one thing that we've learned so far is that anything that you can do to create more space is beneficial Now out of all of the travel trailers that we saw at the RV show, this particular one was the most like ours. It's a toy hauler, however a really cool feature that it has is after you have your toys out, you can make the ramp into a patio. So that way you can enjoy the outdoors and sit on your own patio and then when you're ready to be all done with the patio, you just lift it back up again. Next, we met Paul from Evergreen Mountain Sports. Hello, my name is Paul. I'm one of the owners of Evergreen Mountain Sports. And we're here today at the RV show in Denver, Colorado. And uh, we got a couple of different boards here. Two manufacturers, Hala and also Soul. And then, uh, so for the small person, we have the Soul Rebel, which is 10 feet by 32 by 6. Great all around board. You can go on the lakes, you can even take it on the river as well. And then we have a little, bit, little figure board from Seoul called the Seoul Train. And the dimensions on this is 10.7 by 33.5 by 6. 
So another all around board that you take on the river is it. And you know, I can put two people on that. It will take a person and a child. It'll be a great board for that as well. When it comes to paddle boards, Paul definitely knows his stuff. So if you and your family are in the market for a new paddle board, check out Evergreen Mountain Sports. And how long does it take from start to finish to air up one of these boards? Well, roughly 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes. Yep. And uh, Hala and Seoul have gone, have an electric pump option, which is a, a bigger electric pump, which you can just plug into your, uh, attach to your car battery and turn the 15 pounds of pressure and hit start and in about 12 minutes it will be fully inflated 15 pounds of pressure. Great. And then deflating gets quicker, about 5 minutes, you just turn the knob and let it deflate and just roll it up. Alright, well thanks so much, Evergreen Mountain Sports. Yeah, we're in Conifer, Colorado. for joining us at the RV show. Hey, do us a favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel. We look forward to being able to share our adventures with you. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy the ride.